Hey guys, welcome back. Remember the factory tour we did back in November 2024? Well, I have a couple of things that I had to leave out and I can't wait to show you. Obviously the title gives away, but uh, I want to take you inside here. Let's take a look. It's only one, only one mile. Okay, the first little part has no audio, so we're gonna hear the noise in the factory in a second here. I just wanted to show you the CFS running on K1Cs and K1 Maxes here at the factory. This was back in November and they are testing a lot of them, a lot of them. So I'm excited for you guys to see this. Enjoy. USB to the CFS. Cutter. The poop is inside. Cutter. We have a K1C printing ink color. Not just one. K1 Max printing with CFS. <laughs> yes. Now I can tell them. Okay, let me walk you through this a little bit. Uh, just to show you, this is a K1C, K1 Max is exactly the same. The printer communicates with the CFS through the USB. So that cable is connected. If you look carefully on the back of the CFS there, you can see another power cable down below. There is a power port on the CFS, which we don't usually use on the K2 Plus, but for this upgrade kit, you'll have to use a power cable on the CFS. It comes in the upgrade kit. This is the very first time I'd seen it, so this is why I'm doing a voiceover because I'm I'm my voice is high pitched. I'm asking very excited questions and I'm going to tell you the answers to them. There, there's no change of the printhead. I honestly thought we were going to have to change the whole printhead, get a new back panel, uh, and they're they're explaining to me now that no, it's the same printhead. This is the K1C printhead, K1C nozzle. The only thing that's changed is the extruder. That's part of the CFS upgrade kit, which I'm going to make a video of doing it in, in the studio. So you can see there the CFS sends to the back of the printer and it's got that same hub that the K2 Plus uses. So you can connect up to four of them. You can run 16 colors here. And I'm asking about the back panel. Why is the back panel still look the same? There's still a filter there. What's, and this is, this is the moment where I see the poop in the bottom for the first time. Right here. And I have no problem with this, and I'm telling the guys that because the bottom of my K1C at home looks like this all the time anyway. There's always little pieces of, of trash in there. Now, I'm, I'm looking at what's missing here. They've made improvements to the upgrade kit since November because there's a few little shrouds that are missing on this one. Uh, so stay tuned. I'm going to do an upgrade on a K1C very soon. I've already done it. I just have to edit the video and put it out. So 
stay tuned to the channel. Thanks a lot for coming, guys. Give me a like, make a comment. We'll see you next time.